Hello friends, I'm Bishmir Sekran, a machine learning engineer with Cognicept Systems, a robotic startup in Singapore. Welcome to the experience, awesome computer vision done quick for JuliaCon 2021. We only have 179 seconds, so let's go. Julia is a modern, high-performance programming language inspired by Lisp with many useful features, such as dynamic typing, multiple dispatch, built-in package management, and parallel computing. For this experience, we'll be using the Flux ML package to create a sophisticated image classification model using a novel research dataset of 11,000 high-resolution color images just published in March of this year. An important type of deep neural network architecture for computer vision problems is the convolutional neural network. When we convolve an image, we are passing a special kernel, or mask, over the entire image pixel by pixel and transforming the values of the underlying image in a particular way defined by that kernel's unique values. Depending on the kernel selected, we can perform many interesting operations, such as blurring or sharpening an image, or detect special features or edges such as vertical or horizontal lines. CNNs are built up of successive pairs of these convolutional layers, along with pooling layers. The purpose of the pooling layer is to reduce the size of the image, which greatly reduces the amount of memory required to process it. So the general form of an image classification model would be first an input layer, which processes our image dataset, followed by successive pairs of convolutional and pooling layers, then a flattening layer, and one or more dense layers, followed by an output layer to give us a probability. Once we build this model, we can train it on the labeled dataset and then use it to classify new images. So why mask detection? Health experts agree that personal protective equipment is an essential part of population health management for defeating the global pandemic. Mask detectors can help automate the wider adoption of masks and thereby reduce the spread of the virus worldwide. So this is how we would go about actually building our classifier in Julia. And although I'm running out of time here, I would like to showcase the amazing interactivity we get with Pluto Notebooks, which allows us to explore our datasets in situ. The models themselves can easily be built simply by following the clear documentation of the FluxML package. Here, let's pay tribute to the AlexNet model, which won the ImageNet challenge in 2012 and kicked off the recent and ongoing boom in deep learning. Four pairs of convolution and pooling layers put together as easily as that. As this is a brief experience, I've only trained the model for 50 epochs, but you can see that we get quite decent results even from a very rough first pass using the Atom Optimizer. If we then use stochastic gradient descent and tweak the Nesterov momenta, we can get really quite impressive results like this. The trained classifier then does a wonderful job of correctly looking at any given face and deciding whether it is masked or unmasked. Thanks for coming to this experience. Please check out the notebook on Codeberg and enjoy the rest of JuliaCon.